Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today's topic is how to draw a polar plot using graph sheet. So this is the problem. The open loop transfer function of a unity feedback system is given by this transfer function. Sketch the polar plot and determine the gain margin and phase margin. So the first step is we have to replace S by J omega. And the next thing is we have to frame an expression for phase plot and the magnitude plot here. So how to write expression for magnitude? It is given by we have to take we have to square the omega as well as we have to take the square root right. So here it is omega square root of omega square. So this square and omega cancels each other and here when you take when you write expression for this term it will be square root of 1 square plus omega square. So it is 1 plus omega square. And here it is 1 plus 2 omega whole square will be 4 omega square. So this is the final simplified form of magnitude expression. Right. Now we are proceeding to phase angle. So here the expression for phase angle is again you see all the three terms lies in the denominator. When we shift these three terms to the numerator then there will be a minus sign in front of all of these three terms. Right. So here tan inverse of omega by 0 it is nothing but infinity. So tan inverse of infinity is 90 degrees. So here 90 degrees since the term is in denominator I am shifting that to the numerator therefore minus 90 degrees. Similarly here tan inverse of real that is imaginary coefficient divided by real term. So here it is tan inverse of omega by 1. So when you rewrite it is minus tan inverse of omega and here the thing is tan inverse of 2 omega by 1 so here it is minus tan inverse of 2 omega right so the next thing is we have to select random values of omega and we have to calculate the values of magnitude and the phase angle so here right so the value of omega is selected by us. So it starts from 0.35 and it is extended to 1.0. There is no restriction that you have to take only these values. It is up to you. Right. So next just substitute the value of omega here and write down the respective value of the magnitude. Similarly substitute the values of omega in the phase angle expression and again write down the respective values here. Right. So now to draw this in a graph sheet the thing is here you see this is of the type polar type right that is an angle sorry uh, a measurement along with an angle is present here so we have to convert this into rectangular coordinate this is available in polar coordinate we have to convert this into rectangular coordinate then only we can draw this plot in a graph sheet so this conversion can be easily done by using a scientific calculator right here the same omega values are there just the thing done is we have convert we have converted polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates in this table right now let me show you how to draw these values on a graph sheet so this is our graph sheet right so in this graph sheet here you see we are having real term and imaginary term. So similarly here this x axis stands for real term. So here it is written as g or j omega that is real part and here the y axis stands for imaginary term. So here it is written as you see g i of j omega right. So after taking after drawing these two lines we have to take the values of scale depending upon the values available in our table right so after writing down the values the next thing is we have to plot it so here what is the first value here so here it is minus 1.78 the real part is minus 1.78 and the imaginary is minus 1.29 right so again when you look at the graph sheet you see 1.78 right so here it is 1.6 and here it is 1.7 right so 1.78 lies somewhere here so you see this is our 
1.78 at the same time the value of the imaginary term is minus 1.29 so here i am having minus 1.2 so around here there will be minus 1.29 right just take a scale and when you move here here lies our first point right that is the real term is minus 1.78 and the imaginary term is minus 1.29 right this is our here lies our first point similarly we have to draw the rest of the points here so when you consider the second point you see it is minus 1.56 and the value is 0.9 so here again minus 1.56 so this is 1.4 this is 1.5 and 1.56 lies somewhere around here and the imaginary term is 0.9 so again this is our 1 so 0.9 lies here right so when you move gradually again you have to mark a point here similarly you have to plot the points for all the available things in the table right once the plot is drawn you see here this is the way right all the points are plotted once the plot is drawn you have to join all these points using a free hand right so here let me show you so just gradually connect all the dots right so here this is our polar plot on a graph sheet right this is our polar plot here then the next thing is we have to draw unity circle only drawing upon the unity circle we can decide the face margin and the gain margin here so how to draw a unity circle the unity circle is drawn between that is this real term one and imaginary term one right so here the unity circle can be better drawn with the help of a compass right wait let me show you so here finally the unity circle is drawn it is connecting the real minus one to the imaginary minus one right so now draw a line from this origin okay to the point where our plot our plot touches the unity circle right so now we have to measure the respective angle over here so just keep the protractor over here you see this is our drawn line so just keep the protractor and just measure the angle here so the angle here which is measured is it is equal to 168 degrees so here since we are keeping the protractor reverse so here the angle is minus 168 degrees right so now we are going to calculate the gain margin and the face margin so here you see the real term intersects gets intersected by our drawn polar plot at the value of omega 0.7 right so 1 divided by 0.7 gives the value of 1.4286 this is our gain margin and again face margins so here we have calculated the value of the angle as minus 168 here so 180 plus pi gc and here it is 180 minus 168 and that gives a face margin of 12 degrees right so here comes the end of this problem if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you